Hello guys, welcome to my channel HVR Tutorials. In my earlier video, we have already seen what is meant by Apache PYA and how we can download and set up this Apache PYA with our Java projects, right? So I have already shown how we can set up this with normal Java project and also with Maven project, right? So in the Maven project, we use the dependencies to download this Apache PYA. And in the normal project, we directly download the zip file and we unzip it and we add all the libraries to the normal Java project, right? So in this video, we will see how we can create an Excel file using Apache PY. So we will create one Excel file and we will write some data into that Excel file. Okay. So first, how many types of Excel files do we have? We have two types. Okay. One is old version and the other one is new version. Okay. So when I say old version, it is having XLS as an extension. Okay. So when I say new version, it is having Excel SX. So this is the extension, right? So I have mentioned, if you want to work with the older version of Excel files, you need to import a different module, okay? The different component. So if you want to work with new version of Excel, then you need to import a different component. So for the older version of Excel, you need to import HSSF, okay? And for newer versions, it is XSSF. So these are the components basically, okay? So HSSF is one component, XSSF is one component. So in this video, we will see both the things. So let me open the Eclipse. So here I have created one class that is create and write Excel. So first we'll see with older versions of Excel, that is XLS, okay? So if you want to create an Excel and write some data into it, first we should understand the Excel structure basically. Okay, so here I have one Excel, a simple Excel. So this entire Excel file is actually one workbook. So inside this workbook, we have multiple sheets. Okay, you can see in the bottom, we have sheet one, sheet two, sheet three, like this we can create multiple sheets. In one workbook, you can have multiple sheets. Okay, so in each sheet, you have multiple rows basically. Okay, so in each row, you have again multiple cell. Okay. So this is the structure basically. So let me just write here. First it is workbook. Inside that workbook, then sheet. Inside the sheet, we have row. Inside the row, we have cell. So this is the order that we need to follow while automating also. That means while reading or writing from the Apache PY. So let me go back to the Eclipse. So first we need to create one workbook. So here we are actually creating the Excel file. We are creating a new Excel file and we are writing the data into it. So for creating an Excel workbook, first I need to choose HSSF component, HSSF workbook here, okay? So I'll give workbook as my variable name, new HSSF workbook, okay? So we are creating a new one basically. So inside this workbook, we want to create the sheets also, right? I'll just store that sheet into one sheet variable. So HSSF sheet, okay, sheet. So the sheet is available inside workbook. So we need to use the reference of this workbook to create the sheets, okay? So inside this, we have a method create sheet. There are two methods with a create sheet name. One is simply create sheet and other one is create sheet with sheet name, okay? So basically when you use create sheet, it will create based on the indexes, okay? If you have already added one sheet in the workbook, so when you use this method, after that sheet, it will create the another one, okay? In the last index, after the last index, it will try to create the sheets. So if you use the create sheet with name, then it uses the sheet, okay? So let me just show you. So if you don't mention anything, okay, if you are just using the create sheet method, you're not passing the sheet name, right? So it will create like this, sheet one, sheet two, sheet three, like that, okay? So if you mention the sheet name, then this sheet will be created with that user defined name, like this, for example, test. So like this, it will create, okay? So now I will not mention anything. So I'll just create the sheet, okay? I'm not giving any name. So inside the sheet, we need to create a row, right? Sheet dot create row. So for the row, we need to actually pass the index, which row you want to create. 
So in this Apache PY, the indexes are actually starts from zero. Index starts from zero. This is for rows and columns. Okay. So here I need to mention zero because I want to create the first row. So I have created the row. So in this row, I want to actually create the cells. So once you create the row, next time you don't create it, you get it. Okay because the row is already created. So you need to use get row. So here the index is zero dot. We need to create the cells inside this row. So we have a method called create cell. So here also you need to pass the index. So I pass zero. So I'm creating first cell in the first row. Okay. So till here the cell is created. So I want to set some text in that cell. Simply I don't want to create right. I want to enter some text into that one. So for entering the text, we have a method called set cell value. So you can set any type of value, Boolean, calendar, date, double, local date time and string. So I'll simply take string value and I will say hello. So then next in the same row, I will create another cell. Okay. So we are taking the first row only dot create cell. The index is one and set cell value and I will enter world. So next I will create one more row. Okay. So the syntax will be similar. Simply I will change this indexes. Okay. So next, next. So here this will be same and here I will change the content. Okay hyr tutorials so till here the workbook and sheet and the data everything is ready right so this is a temporary memory so whatever we have created now everything resides inside this workbook but this is a temporary we need to write this workbook data into one file right so we need to actually create the file in our machine so further we have a method okay workbook dot write so in this write method, you need to actually pass any of these two parameters. You can pass the file or you can pass the file or push string. So here, if you see, I haven't mentioned the Excel sheet name. I mean the workbook name and where it has to create, right? So that I'm going to do with the help of file instance. Okay. So I'll create one file instance here. So here I need to pass the path along with the file name. Okay. So let me just create inside this one only. So let me go to this one. So this is my project. So inside this, I will create one file. One folder, I will name it as Excel files. Okay. So I'll just copy this path. And I'm going to use that path here. Okay. So inside this folder, I want to create the file. So here we are using the HSSF components, right? So our extension should be XLS, the older version of Excel. So now we have created the file. So we could write by passing this file name. So it will ask you to throw the exception. You can simply select the super class of exception. After this, you need to close the workbook. Okay. So now let me just execute this. See the program execution is completed. I'm not displaying anything here. If there is an exception, it would have displayed here in the console, right? So let me go to the folder. So here you can see the test.xls document is created, right? So let me open that. Now you see the test.xls Excel file is actually created and the sheet name is sheet zero because we haven't mentioned the sheet name and the data is entered in the first row, first cell hello and second word, then HYR and tutorials. So this is how you need to create the Excel file and write the data into that Excel file. So now, let me show you with sheet name also. Okay. We'll do a few small changes. 
quickly. So here I need to pass the sheet name, right? So I'll say sheet name also test sheet. Okay. So here I'll change the file name to test one. We have test.xls. Now I'm going to create test1.xls. So now let me just execute this. Okay. So it is completed. You can see test1.xls is created. So when I open that, the sheet name is coming as test sheet because I have mentioned that name and the data is same. Okay. Nothing I have changed except this one. Okay. So let me show you with file output streams also. Here I have used file right. So let me show you with file output stream. File output stream. I'll name it as FOS new file output stream. So for the file output stream, the input is file. So which file you want to create this one. So I'll pass this here. So this file output stream instance, you need to pass to workbook. Okay. So I'll change this to test two. So let me run this. So the execution is completed. So you can see test2.xls is created. And if you open, there is nothing changed. So it is just created as the previous one, right? So that means you can actually create it directly by using file or you can use the file output streams also. So now we have seen the older version of Excel, right? So if you want to work with newer version of Excel here, I'm going to simply replace all HSSF with XSSF. Okay. So I'll copy this entire content here and comment. So here I will update. Okay. It will be X everywhere. So here also you need to actually change the extension. So I'll name it as test three. So here I need to import the references. Okay, so the references are also imported. So let me run this. The execution is completed. You can see test3.xlsx. So if I open that, you can see we have sheet name and we have the data, right? So if you want to create any newer version of Excel, this is how you have to do. Nothing changes, okay? Everything will stay same except this thing here. You will use XSSF modules and if you want to use the older version, you need to use HSSF modules. So for example, here I'm using the older version modules, but by mistakenly I put XLSX here. So in this case, what happens whether the Excel sheet actually creates or not, or if it creates, we'll be able to open it. Let's find out. So now I'm using the older version of modules and creating the new Excel. Okay. So let me run this. So it should create test 4.xlsx. It is completed. So if you go here, test 4.xlsx is created. So when I open that, it is giving me one warning. Okay. Excel cannot open the file. Why? Because the format or file extension is not valid. Okay. So here what happens is, Internally, this Excel file is has some format, right? So you are creating older format onto this one. So there is a compatibility mismatch. So that is the reason it is not creating. So you should always use the modules with respect to your Excel sheet. If it is new one, you need to use XSSF. If it is old one, HSSF. Okay. So this is how we actually create and write the data into that Excel file. Okay. So in the next video, we will see how we can read this data from the already created Excel file. Okay. So yeah, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoy this video. If you have any doubts, please let me know in the comment section below. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.